كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا بسنته جلا نوري لهدي الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى والدين الحق لذرى لا دين كل وكفى بالله الشهيد وشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد This dunya No one came in this dunya for enjoy Only the disbelieving people think that way But this dunya Whoever came in this dunya will face test. This is what Allah brought us in this dunya, testing place. Now the one who doesn't follow the Quran and Sunnah become a catalyst of his own downfall. Now Allah has blessed us with health, wealth and children. And if one being tested with one of these, it's a calamity and it's a test in itself. Particularly being tested with your own kids when they become ill. That is a major test. Testing on your children. Because no one is immune for the test. Everyone will go through the test. Allah will test you with your own children, with your own wealth, and your health, and your wife, and the husband, and etc. Now when a person has been tested with his children or his child, and this individual is struggling to understand why, and this individual is very, very far from the deen of Allah. And then the, the boy or a girl been hit by evil eye. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa says, al al haq the evil eye is the truth. But a lot of people think the other way. So evil eye, when it hits human being, an older person, it has an effect. Let alone a child. When a child has been hit by evil eye, it is worse, but it is a test. Allah has decreed that to be a test for the parents. Now, when the parents are far away from the religious of Allah, the deen of Allah and the sunan, they become catalyst of their own downfall and the catalyst of that child downfall. It's very difficult to explain to people who does not understand, particularly when it comes in the, in the religion-wise, it is very, very difficult. Because today, everyone, when there is a small problem with a child, they really rush it towards the hospital. I'm not saying don't go to the hospital. Because the spiritual problem and the medics, they come hand in hand. But first thing is, try the sunan, the nubuwa. When Allah Rabbul Izzah says, وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ مُبَارَكٌ And this is a blessed book. Try the Quran, read on your child before rushing him anywhere. Some disease, like I said, a spiritual disease. Particularly, you see, today is that you find people absolutely crazy that when a child is born, they go and visit in masses. It's like a king who was born or a queen was born. It's crazy. This child is absolutely innocent. Very, very innocent. But you see people go there and they don't even say the dua for the child and the child get hit. Now, who to blame there? The parents, the child or the visitors? The parents to be blamed because they take it Lightly the evil eye. And when he hits the child, what are the symptoms? Is two, the day and the night. The general symptoms are the child will be burst to crying for absolutely nothing. Very quick to cry for nothing. Appetite lost. The child will be very hyper. 
the child will never be content in anything. His temperature high and up, sleeping. If the child was normally sleeping frequently the whole night, he'll be waking up every few hours. He will have spots in the face or he will have patches, which is not normal in the face. And if it's a girl, she will be losing her hair, the evil eye of the beauty of the hair. And if the child was a teenager and he was doing very well in their, de in their uh, studies, he will suddenly break down from the studies. He will not have no interest in it. When the child who's been hit by evil of going out, he will be crying and afraid to go out. These are the symptoms of a child who's been hit by evil eye. What's the way forward and how to deal with it? There's an authentic dua where Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to read on Hassan al Hussein, which is an authentic dua. He says, A'udhu bi kalimati Allahi tamat min kulli shaytani nuhama min kulli ayni lama. Read on that child, abandon. And if you know who gave him the evil eye, go and get the water and sprinkle that child and give him olive oil to drink and olive oil to apply on his body. Let him have two spoon morning and evening of the olive oil. It will help with the forgetfulness by the will of Allah. Rabbul Izza. Stay tuned for more. Abu Yahya from the Rukhato wa Akhiru Da'wana. Wa salamun ala al mursalin. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Hatta yatabayyana lahum anahu al-haq.